Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorns, this is going to be your 1111 reading. Um, November 11th is one of the most powerful manifestation days of the year. And on this day, the frequency of this master number um, speeds up the manifestation process because it blows open the universe's channel. This portal is wide open. Um, for just a little background info, the number one represents the magician in the tarot and your ability to use your physical and spiritual tools um, to manifest for your highest good. 1111 quadruples this power and allows you to manifest something from nothing. So now is not the time to underestimate your skills. Don't underestimate your power and don't underestimate your magic. Um, angels also use this number sequence to activate light codes for your soul's development. And when you see 1111, your angelic guides are just reminding you that you are here to create, to manifest love, health, abundance, the life that you want. You are here to make magic. So it's also really important, you guys, that we focus on what you think is what you create and also pay attention to your true motives for what it is you truly want. 1111 is also a really powerful number for those of you on a twin flame journey. Um, 11 represents, um, you know, the binary or the dual nature of the universe that we see light and dark, masculine and feminine. And it also represents your soul and your twin's soul. 1111 is a powerful day to manifest this connection into your life. So I'm going to go ahead and do a reading for you guys. And before I do that, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Also, um, if you like the decks that I'm using or you would like a private reading, all that info is in the description box down below. All right, Capricorns, let's, let's see what messages come through for my Capricorns for this 1111 reading. Messages for my Capricorns for this 1111 reading. Okay, the sun. Wow. Some of you may have Leo in your chart or attached to a Leo. Ten of Cups. Ace of Swords. Wow, Capricorn. Queen of Cups. Yum. And you get Page of Cups in reverse. Ooh, some of you guys are going to receive an apology. Overall energy is the five of crystals, the five of pentacles. Some of you guys may have gone through a breakup or maybe even lost a job. Or some of you guys have been really dealing with abandonment issues or a feeling of lack or not having enough, worried about not having enough, um, enough love, enough money, a roof over your head, that sort of thing. But right now you guys are co-creating. You guys are coming out as the sun energy. For some of you guys, this is about your twin flame journey because the sun card is often about twins. Okay, some cards depict two baby twins coming together. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is optimism. This is also about letting yourself shine. Let the world expose your gifts and your hidden talents, Capricorn, because you are pretty awesome. What's blocking you is we have the Ten of Cups. I feel like, Capricorn, some of you guys, um, you may be dealing with a water sign, um, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. But the Ten of Cups in reverse is like when something... Um, it's like some sort of emotional upheaval, feeling really drained. Again, for some of you guys, you may have gone through like a divorce or a separation. Um, you might have lost a job or some, you might be feeling left out of a connection or out of a situation. Um, something that, you know, was your wish fulfillment at one point in time, but now it's seeming to like, it's, it's taking from you rather than like pumping you up. The Ten of Cups in reverse takes me back to the Nine of Cups and I'm feeling like some of my Capricorns out there that you guys are afraid to admit what it is that will truly make you happy, what it is you want. So it's I'm going to give you an example that they're showing me um, being in a relationship and standing for less than what you need because it's comfortable or because you love this person or because it works on paper. But admitting to yourself what it is you truly want, what it is you're truly missing, and especially if you've addressed this with this person, or it doesn't necessarily have to be in love, it could be at work. But really admitting what it is that will make you happy is going to be huge because I feel like many of you haven't allowed yourself to even go there. 
because you may feel like you don't deserve it or you can't get it or you know life is meant to be hard or relationships are always disappointing or somebody always leaves you okay so it's really important that you that you that you acknowledge what it is that will make you very happy and then everything seems to just fall into place capricorn what you need to know is there is a new blessing. There is clarity coming to you. Something that you weren't able to see before is going to be open and available to you. A new path. It could be communication for some of you. It might be like a surprise meeting with somebody or you might be getting a message from somebody telling you about an opportunity. Um, what you need to do, Queen of Cups, balance your emotions. Be in touch, Capricorn. I'm getting some of you guys have been, you just, you haven't, you haven't allowed yourselves to dream. You haven't allowed yourselves to look at what will truly make you happy. Some of you guys have detached from that. Some of you guys aren't trusting your intuition. Okay. Some of you, again, I'm picking up on a couple of these readings, the importance of healing a mother wound at this time or healing something having to do with going back to your childhood. Your final outcome, the page of cups. For some of you, this has to do with a child. For some of you guys, this is an apology that's coming into you. For some of you, you're going to have a heart to heart conversation with a mother or a parental figure where they're going to apologize to you for what you went through as a child. It may not seem like enough, but it's actually going to kickstart this healing that needs to take place. Maybe some of you were abandoned. Maybe some of you, um, you know, maybe some of you came from broken homes. And I'm getting that you're going to understand that whoever this parental figure is, this loving, nurturing figure is, they're going to come back. You're going to understand. You're going to see it from a different perspective. And it's actually going to allow you to sort of move forward. I feel like some of you guys have been like against marriage because of this. Like some of you guys have been like unwilling to get married or like, you you know, there's a, there's a fear of commitment here because what you've seen or what you grew up seeing, that sort of original love language, um, whether there was infidelity or divorce is something that really, that, that, that really, really affected you. Now it didn't allow you because I feel like that's what many of you guys want. Many of you guys do want some sort of commitment here. And that's your wish fulfillment, but you're not allowing yourself to see that. I feel like there's a very important conversation slash apology that's coming in that's going to allow you to move forward with your dreams. You may be, this may be mother and son, okay? Yep, ten of swords, something, a painful, some sort of painful ending or a divorce. Maybe even you lost a parent. For some of you, this may be, you know, mother who passed on. Okay, and this can be that receiving, you know, contacts in the dream space or during meditation. Some of you might see somebody who can channel past on loved ones. It's not for all of you, but just for maybe like, you know, one or two of you. There was a very sort of painful ending, but it's, it's, this is going to help you reconcile that. Okay, three of pentacles. This is going to, I feel like whatever this is, whatever this information, this conversation, this apology that's coming towards you, it's going to, it's going to give you a new perspective. You're going to understand why everything worked out the way it did. Tell me more about this 10 of cups in reverse, please. Get the empress in reverse. Some of you guys, there was infidelity. Could be in your relationships. It doesn't all have to go back to your childhood, but it could be an important relationship. Some of you guys were able to attract what it is you wanted, but it, you weren't aligned with it. I know that sounds kind of, but it's like you were, you were able to attract. So for example, if I'm picking up on you guys being masculine energy here in this reading, but it doesn't have to be. But that you were able to attract like this partner, your divine feminine, but you weren't able to take things to the next level where you actually really wanted to, wanted to take them because of whatever this childhood wound or this wound from this relationship or this ending. Like you were, you were able to like get, you were able to like attract and come into union with this person, but somehow like you always put up a road roadblock. Or you were attracting the wrong people is what I'm picking up on. But people that weren't available because what you truly want here is commitment is what I'm getting. Ace of Pentacles. 
I feel like this knowing and this understanding is going to be the blessing that you need. You, you have the ability to attract abundance. You're, you're very good at manifesting, but I feel like then you set up roadblocks. Or, you, or there's some self-sabotage that comes along with this because you're reacting to either childhood wounds or previous relationships. And what do we need to know about this Ace of Swords? Look at that. We get the Ten of Cups in reverse twice. You're going to be leaving this behind. You're, le you're going to be leaving this heartbreak. Some of you guys may have been on a twin flame journey. And you might feel like it was, you might be knowing or understanding that was your false twin. Okay. And you guys may have stepped back. This was a very, very painful ending. This conversation, either with a parent or maybe even a past loved one or a water sign, coming in with an apology, this is going to kickstart a healing process that's going to allow you to move on from this. For some of you, this may have taken place or be the result of Mercury retrograding. And the Three of Swords, look at that. You're healing. You get double confirmation of the Ten of Cups in reverse. The ending could have been a karmic situation that's coming to an end. It was very painful. You're getting healing and closure here. Okay, regardless. There's healing and there's closure. And it's also going to really help you put into, into perspective what you want out of this life, what you want out of love. Queen of Cups, oh, you might have a water sign coming towards you who is your true pair, who is your counterpart. Four of Pentacles, that's your energy. You're going to have to be open to this. You're going to have to release control because I feel like Capricorn, many of you guys have been manifesting people into your lives and, you know, there was potential, but there was always some sort of sabotage. The Four of Pentacles is releasing control. This is everything is going to work out with this person, especially if you have a water sign that you're dealing with, okay? That's, that may be coming towards you. This person also wants commitment. This is divine feminine energy, but you have to be open to receiving it. You also have to really be open to having a conversation with somebody from your past or even healing through the dream space with somebody who's passed on. That's just for one or two of you. Look at that. You get Cancerian energy coming out. This apology, this conversation, allowing yourself to sort of reach into the emotional depths is what's going to help you heal and move forward and move out of this feeling of lack. Yep, and you're going to start a brand new journey. You're going to sort of have healthy relationship. This is going to be a very healthy relationship with someone. But there's a healing or there's a conversation that needs to take place. For some of you, it may be reconciliation with this person because I do have the Hierophant in reverse. Some of you guys may have been married to this person and you may be having this conversation. For some of you guys, this is a soulmate that you've been in separation. They're coming back around. But remember, soulmates don't always come from this life. It may be from a previous lifetime. Somebody tried to walk away, but they're coming back. Again, it could be somebody from your past having a conversation with a parent who's coming in to apologize. It's going to put things into perspective. And it's also going to help you open up to maybe the possibilities of why you weren't open, why you were sabotaging relationships. Because it was a repeating pattern that you'd been in. A karmic cycle, a karmic loop that's now going to finally be broken. This person, for those of you who are attracting your Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, is, may differ from you. They may be a little bit more eccentric. They might be, you know, they might be maybe more conservative than you are, but I feel like it's the opposite. They're not traditional. Advice for my Capricorns is your calling. Your life's purpose is like an awakening to put your gifts and talents to good use and enjoy the journey of life. Capricorn, you were meant to enjoy this life. And she's holding a rose. You know, this is romance. This is passion. You were meant to have love and passion in your life. And this person is looking, This that she's up high and she's looking down below. She's sort of doing like a karmic review, a review of her life, of her past. And she's looking at things for how they truly are, how they've affected her.
And she's also understanding that it's okay to let go of those things. There's an important apology or conversation that needs to take place between you and this person or you and a parent. Transcendence. Rise up. Honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. Yeah, open yourself up to this communication, to this conversation. All right, we see rise up. We see this person. She's looking at where she's come from. She's definitely from a higher perspective. You are being shown the way to healing and to opening yourself up to emotional balance and love and a new successful journey and commitment. You guys also get Joan of Arc. Wow. Voice of truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. Yeah. I feel like many of my Capricorns out there, you guys have been afraid to admit what it is that you truly want. Because the idea of either being rejected or the idea of not getting that and not achieving that was greater than if you just never even admitted it. Okay. Father of the sky. <laughs> so we get Atlas. Look, he's holding the weight of the world on his shoulders. This is something my Capricorns, you guys have been carrying around with you for a very long time. Joan of, Ar Joan of Arc was one of the greatest warriors. You guys have been fighting. You guys have been doing a very good job. But the, finally, there's a communication or a reconciliation or an apology that's coming in that's going to allow you to release the weight of this world. Look at that. I didn't even read the bottom. I released the weight of the world from my shoulders. When you have an honest conversation with yourselves about what will truly make you happy, Capricorn, you're going to feel so good. And this came popping out, flying out. Balance, yin, yang. Many of you guys, you will be attracting your true partner. Love is not always about agreeing for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And you guys are working through those challenges in all types of relationships. For many of you going back to your childhood. And you're understanding what you've learned from it, but you're also understanding what may have been keeping you stuck from manifesting what it is you want. And you're finally willing to open up to that. You're willing to admit what it is you truly want most. You're transcending these obstacles. You're releasing heartbreak and pain and disappointment. A very painful ending isn't going to have, have a hold on it on you like it always has. And it's going to bring you love. It's going to bring you healthy relationships. It's going to bring you success. All right, Capricorn, I hope you guys, I hope this helped you guys and gave you guidance. Um, and um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care.